Good happy Saturday morning everyone. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, police launch investigation after body discovered in woods. An investigation is underway in Summersworth after police discovered a body in the woods on Saturday. Authorities responded to the wooded area near Walmart for a report of an unresponsive male at around 1.55 p.m. Police pronounced the man dead at the scene. It is unclear how the man died, but police believe foul play is not a factor. An autopsy has been scheduled, but the identity of the victim has not been released. One killed, three injured after car slams into trees. One person was killed and three injured after an overnight crash in Kingston. According to the fire department, the car went off Winthrop Street and slammed into several trees and rocks around 1.13 a.m. Sunday. One victim was pronounced dead at the scene. Two people were taken to South Shore Hospital by ambulance. A third victim was taken to Mass General Hospital by medical helicopter. The extraction process required mutual aid from crews in Duxbury, Pembroke, and Plymouth. The road was closed for several hours during the investigation. Appeals Court denies Justice Department's motion to lift travel ban restraining order. Let's take a listen to the Did video. You stop the attack? What do we do? <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now. We're standing up and fighting back. Make some noise. Put your blood in the sky. The U.S. Court Appeals for the Ninth Circuit announced early Sunday morning that it has denied the Department of Justice emergency motion filed late Saturday to issue an immediate stay on a Washington state judge temporary restraining order of President Donald Trump's controversial travel ban. Protesters across U.S. voice concerns over Trump policies. Protesters against President Donald Trump's policies took place Saturday in several major American cities. Though not on the scale of last weekend's protests, demonstrators gathered in cities such as Denver, Houston, Miami, New York, Philadelphia, St. Louis, and Washington. 
A protest also took place in West Palm Beach, Florida, close to Trump's Mar a Largo Club, where he is spending the weekend. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday. See you back here later on today. Goodbye, everyone.